Hey guys, who are you? David Franke here from GearPop.com slash giveaways. Check it out. I'm giving away a $25 Amazon gift card. Just go to the link right below to enter right now. Anyway, getting to the point of today's video, it is an ask a question video, and this is a fascinating question. I could talk your head off, so get ready. Today's question comes from Ayanut14. Oh, by the way, over at ddfranke.com slash ask. That is your open forum for submitting questions for videos such as, yeah, you guessed it, this one. Today's question is... Hi David. Hello, I am Nut14. I really hope I'm saying that right. He says, I just thought about this and I wondered how would have your life been without your career on YouTube. Thanks for the good work and I hope you keep it up. By the way, I'm watching the live stream from Romania. Very cool. Uh, if you have trouble spelling my name, you can just call it, you can just call me John. Okay, there you go, John. Thank you. Uh, and I'm sorry if my English is a little bit rusty here and there. No problem. And of course, uh, John includes all of his social links, which will be right below. All right, so let me start off by saying this. It's really, really scary to think about. Do you hear that train in the background? You probably do. I mean, guys, seriously, it is really scary to think about my life without YouTube. I mean, I love YouTube that much. The fact that I'm on YouTube has enabled me to discover so many awesome opportunities and I'm not just saying that I mean I have discovered so many great friends thanks to YouTube I've discovered many business opportunities thanks to YouTube and I've just discovered a whole new world a whole new world I'm not gonna freaking sing for you guys but really it is an amazing opportunity and I just simply cannot imagine my life without YouTube now with that said what if YouTube never existed well, it's really hard to say because you never know where life is going to take you. I mean, one little decision you make could veer you off on an entirely different path in life. And that's that's the truth, guys. All right, so where would I be without YouTube? Maybe in the field of graphic design. I mean, I still love graphic design. It is definitely a passion of mine. I mean, video has definitely taken over my life, but I have always and will always love graphic design, you know, in terms of Photoshop, web design, and all that good stuff. Now, I should say, years ago, when I graduated college, I was applying for jobs, you know, like a regular job, and I was kind of not offered a job, but I was offered an interview for a local newspaper, which I never took up, honestly. I never really told anyone about that. Um, I would work in their graphic design division, I believe, but I didn't like the hours. I didn't like the job description. I didn't like how it sounded overall. What I'm doing now sounded much better, and quite frankly, I was right. I mean, I'm in the comfort of my own home, doing what I love, making money doing what I love, and all around, it's a pretty good gig. But without YouTube, would I have taken that graphic design job? Maybe. I mean, if YouTube never existed, I would have an entirely different outlook on the job market. I would have an entirely different outlook on myself in general. So do you get what I'm saying? Is I mean, the fact that I took the YouTube road, I just went, I just entered this entire city of opportunity, uh, whereas without YouTube, I would have gone down a different road with different opportunities. I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just different. It's just, guys, it's honestly one of those things that's really, really hard to talk about. I mean, if you watch Lost, I truly believe everything happens for a reason. I discover things in life for a reason, and I discover the people in my life for a reason. You might not look at life as the same as, you know, as, as I do, and that's perfectly fine. We're all different in our philosophical ways. Yes, I said it right. Remember philosophical? I was like, philosophic. I Now, I can't even say it incorrectly now. But with that said, so probably graphic design. I mean, I'm obviously also into video in general. I mean, YouTube got me into, well, I should say Apple got me into video editing, which got me into YouTube and all that stuff. So it's really hard to say whether I would have a video editing job somewhere. I mean, I would love to. Uh, I don't think that would have been possible back in 2009 when I graduated. But then again, it's really hard to say, guys. It, it, it's just impossible to tell. I mean, it actually drives me nuts to think about. I mean, I graduated my first college in 2007. Then I graduated my second college in 2009. But would I have went to Stockton if it wasn't for YouTube? Yes and no. Because I had video opportunities at Stockton, but Stockton gave me gave me my bachelor's degree in arts, so maybe I would have used that, but maybe I wouldn't have because the fact that I made more videos at Stockton introduced me to more sponsorship opportunities in terms of product reviews. 
But then, if I didn't go to Stockton, would I have had more time to do videos because I wouldn't have had as many classes. It's really one of those, guys, it's impossible, impossible to think about. It's just one of those things. So I guess, John, to answer your question, I don't know. I don't know. That's what's great about life. You, 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 you honestly never know where life is going to take you. I mean, I could wake up tomorrow to literally a life-changing email that could introduce an amazing opportunity. Will it happen? I don't know. That's what's so great about life. I mean, going to Wawa tonight, maybe I could meet someone that could change my life. Maybe uh, this is one of those, it's just impossible to think about. John, I apologize. I'm sorry. I, I feel like I never give you a true answer to this video because honestly, I feel there is no true answer to this video, uh, to, to, to this question, I should say. Um, I'm really all over the place with my words here. But John, either way, I really hope you enjoyed my answer. And honestly, guys, I gotta tell you right now, I'm feeling a little lightheaded right now because I'm still having my allergies attacking me. It's the way they are. But I'm doing the best I can. Anyway, John, I really hope that answered your question. I doubt it did. But either way, I really do appreciate your question. Guys, keep those questions coming over at ddefranco.com slash ask. I greatly appreciate it. And now, since today is an Ask a Question video, you do get a free audiobook over at audibletrial.com slash the creative one. Click that link right below, sign up and search for this audiobook. It's called Get Seen Online Video Secrets to Building Your Business. And by business, obviously I mean anything in general because you can look at business in terms of your brand, your personal brand, your business brand, anything. If you're doing videos online like I am, definitely check out this audiobook. Normally worth $20.99 exactly, it is yours for completely free. So again, go to audibletrial.com slash the creative one right below, and it is yours to keep forever. And of course, huge thanks to Audible for making this promotion possible. I really appreciate it, and I hope you guys do too. I love giving away free content. All right, guys, I'm going to go. This is probably one of my worst videos ever. It's just I feel like crap. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I guess I need rest, or maybe I need to eat lunch. The fact that it's almost 3 o'clock p.m. and I haven't eaten anything all day, that's probably really not good for my body. So I'm just going to go, guys. Thank you for your continued support. It really means the world to me, guys. And stay tuned for video 1000. It's right around the corner. I haven't even begun editing yet. That's probably not a good thing to admit because these that type of video takes a very long time. And now I'm done. Peace. Whew, this was a really bad video.